The Fremont Smart and Safe Corridor aims to make Fremont safer for commuters. The genesis of the project really stems from the city's, uh, first of all, the city council's objective to be a national leader uh, in terms of innovation, as well as uh, climate action, sustainability, and ultimately um, safety. Um, and um, it kind of resulted also from the city of Fremont's Vision Zero um, program and, and, and action plan. And so really to integrate uh, the newest technology um, and, and just innovation um, in the transportation sector and see if we can develop a corridor concept to utilize those implement those innovation uh, technology um, to meet the needs, the safety needs of the corridor and also to, you know, to ultimately improve safety, multimodal access, as well as traffic flow. There were many inspirations for the Smart and Safe Corridor project. The, the project's purpose uh, of any transportation project or, or uh, city project, for that matter, is to enhance the experience of the user. The technology being used in this project is brand new technology never used before. Uh, currently, we're, what we're deploying as part of the project are a number of things. First of all, we're upgrading a lot of our aging uh, traffic signal controllers to the newest controllers that are um, that are out there. Um, which brings us additional capabilities that we didn't have before. As you can see, the Fremont Smart and Safe Corridor is aimed to keep Fremont safer for drivers and pedestrians. Um, we definitely appreciate everybody's patience uh, over the last few years uh, in the, in, in, and also assistance um, in helping the city and providing input and in helping the city define what that scope would be. Uh, like I said, we're currently in the construction phase, so we're installing a lot of the Fiber communications that's required to facilitate the system. Uh, we are we we're almost done installing a lot of the equipment. We're working on tweaking the system and employing the system in the upcoming year. Um, so a lot of that uh, may have traffic impacts during the actual employment and construction. Um, but ultimately, we're we're getting close to the end of the you know light at the end of the tunnel. And so appreciate everybody's like, um, ultimately their their patience and endurance. Um, and when the time is, uh, you know, the system's coming online, hopefully everybody will have a positive experience. And But we definitely continue to welcome everybody's feedback as they drive through the corridor. If you would like to find more information on the Fremont Smart and Safe Corridor, you can visit their website at fremontsmartcorridor.org. For Ohlone Tri-City News, this is Armando Galan.